See a measure on the November ballot takes aim at dialysis clinics in California. You've heard a lot about this one. Baker or backers rather say many clinics are taking advantage of patients with private insurance and reaping the profits. But opponents of Prop 8 say that it could put clinics out of business. KPIX 5 political reporter Melissa Kane breaks down the issue for us. You've seen the ads. I urge you to vote no on Prop 8. Proposition 8 asks voters to regulate the profits of dialysis clinics. And Dr. Brian Wong is an expert on dialysis and runs a clinic in Oakland. Just sending a proposition floating up to the public without the public really understanding the, the intricacies of how health care is being financed in, in, in this country and in, in California, I think it's a flawed concept. The first question is why are we voting on this? David Reagan is the president of United Healthcare Workers West, and his union put Prop 8 on the ballot. He says they did it because state lawmakers wouldn't go for it. The legislation, it was clear to us, could not pass the legislature and be signed by the governor. Community dialysis clinics? But why is the union spending $17 million trying to regulate non union dialysis clinics? Well, the union has been trying to organize workers at these clinics for more than two years. Now, Reagan denies that this ballot measure is an attempt by the union to gain leverage over the clinics. We're going to continue to talk to dialysis workers, whatever happens in November. He says the real problem is that dialysis clinics are gouging people who have private insurance. Basically, what they do is charge people who are not on Medicare and Medicaid um, four to five times more than people who are on Medicare and Medicaid. According to the initiative, the two largest dialysis companies make almost $400 million in California each year. So far, they've raised $99 million to oppose Prop 8. Here's why. Prop 8 designates certain things like equipment and hourly wages as allowable costs. And then it limits the clinic's revenue to 115 percent of those allowable costs. But an industry-funded study by the Berkeley Research Group says allowable cost leaves out more than 30 percent of actual cost, things like the cost of security, administrators, and doctors. And if Prop 8 passes, 83 percent of clinics in California will operate at a loss. Dr. Wong says even the richest dialysis companies will close a clinic if it's losing money. The clinic's going to fall in hard times. It will be operating in the red. And it, will be, it won't be before long that operations are cut back and perhaps even close. Then where do these patients go? Reagan says that clinics are not going to close. And he says dialysis companies will say anything to protect their massive profits. I think it's classic fear mongering. The legislative analyst office says it can't predict what will actually happen if Prop 8 passes. Clinics might close or they might not. Dr. Wong says voters shouldn't bet that the companies are lying about closing clinics because the stakes are too high if they're wrong. I don't own the clinic. I am very much fearful of what might happen to the patient. Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.